Among the most fascinating and captivating marine life are ellifish. They appear to be more like an alien creature than a real animal with their ethereal, flowing tentacles and translucent, otherworldly bodies. But make no mistake, these organisms, which have existed for millions of years, are very much a part of the natural world. There is a lot to learn and enjoy about these fascinating critters, from their odd anatomy to their occasionally lethal sting. We will go deeply into the world of the jellyfish throughout this investigation to learn the intriguing mysteries that give them their distinctive characteristics. Welcome to the Animal Chanel, the one channel for all the interesting animal facts around the globe. Ready to dive and let's go. Any planktonic marine animal belonging to the class Cyphozoa, an invertebrate group with about 200 identified species, or the about 20 species of the class Cubozoa is a jellyfish. The name is also widely used to describe several other cnidarians, such as members of the class Hydrozoa with bell or saucer-shaped bodies and medusoid shapes, such as the Hydromedusae and Siphonophores, which include the Portuguese man-of-war. Jellyfish also refers to unrelated forms like salps and comb jellies. Cecil Cyphozoan jellyfish, or stem creatures that are connected to seaweed and other objects by a stalk, can be distinguished from free-swimming medusae. Free-swimming all waters include Cyphozoan jellyfish, which include the well-known disc-shaped creatures that are frequently seen drifting along the shore. The majority only have a short lifespan, although some have been reported to live for a year or longer. Most species have bodies that are between 2 and 40 centimeters in diameter, while some have much bigger bodies with diameters up to 2 meters. Cyphozoan medusae are virtually entirely made of water due to the makeup of the jelly that makes up their mass in almost all species. Most of them have stinging cells in their tentacles, which they use to grab copepods, fish larvae, and other small creatures for food. However, other people just use suspension feeding, removing microscopic creatures and algae from the water. Their bodies, like those of all cnidarians, are formed of two cellular layers called the ectoderm and endoderm, which are separated by the gelatinous mesoglea. The transparent mesoglea layer is quite thick in jellyfish. Free-swimming Cyphozoan jellyfish normally go through three stages in their life cycle. From its top end, a sessile polyp stage asexually produces young medusae, each of which develops into an adult. Adults can be either males or females, though certain species experience sex changes as they get older. In many species, a normal egg sperm fusion results in an embryo that is brooded in the adult's gut until it develops into a ciliated planula larva. However, in some species, similar development occurs in the sea. The planula larva eventually lives in the plankton after leaving its parent, and then it adheres to a rock or other solid surface to develop into a new siphistoma. The order Semiostomii, which has about 50 species of primarily coastal water jellyfish and some of which have extremely extensive geographic ranges, is characterized by such a life cycle. Although jellyfish are frequently perceived as some of the smallest marine creatures, they can exist in a wide range of sizes. There are now about 2,000 types of jellyfish known, but experts believe there may be more than 300,000 species yet undiscovered. That's a lot of jellies, alien-looking but attractive marine creatures that will make you wonder what's truly out there in the deep blue. 1. Crystal Jellyfish This jellyfish species, which is found off the coast of North America, is actually entirely colorless, hence its name. This stunning species, which in the daylight seems crystal clear, has over 150 tentacles lining its glass-like bell. Although there is a more positive side to this transparency. Crystal jellies have light points around the edge of the umbrella and are highly luminescent jellies. Aquarin, a calcium plus plus activated photoprotein that emits a blue-green light, and an auxiliary green fluorescent protein, GFP, which absorbs energy from acorn and re-emits it as green light, are necessary components for bioluminescence. By introducing the GFP gene from the crystal jelly into the mice, scientists have produced green mice that glow green when exposed to blue light. A biological highlighter known as the illuminating protein is used frequently to discover and study genes more efficiently. 2. Bloody Belly Comb Jellyfish Our next candidate, the Bloody Belly Comb Jellies, which are officially comb jellies and are only tangentially related to jellyfish, is the coolest and most attractive jellyfish. This one is essentially a harmless comb jelly to humans because it lacks the well-known tentacles that other jellyfish have that can sting. Their cilia, which are small hair-like projections that beat back and forth to assist it move through the water, 
more than make up for what they lack in tentacles, though. The cilia's movement produces a stunning, multicolored light show that sparkles and glitters. While the Bloody Belly Comb Jelly has a reputation for being a show-off, in deep water, where they are typically found, their crimson hue actually makes them almost inconspicuous. In particular, the crimson belly of this Bloody Belly Comb helps to conceal the bioluminescence light of its food and keeps it especially secure from the attention of its predators because in the depths of the ocean, red looks very much like black. 3. Cauliflower Jellyfish We present the Cauliflower Jellyfish, also known as the Crown Jellyfish, which gets its name from the wart-like projections that this species bears on its bell that resemble those of a vegetable. Although this jellyfish might not have the most attractive name of its kind, it is still a wonderfully lovely species. Most frequently discovered in the waters of the Mid-Pacific to the Indo-Pacific, with sporadic occurrences occurring in the Atlantic Ocean off the coast of West Africa. The cauliflower jelly has a pretty large growth rate, with a diameter of up to 1.5 to 1.9 feet. Although one of the most poisonous jellyfish species, it is essentially non-lethal to people. What do jellies consume? Nothing but shrimp, invertebrate eggs, plankton, and algae. There won't be any unpleasant stings from these little aquatic critters, despite the fact that their bell has 30 filaments with stinging cells protruding from it. Similar to its namesake for a vegetable, this kind is frequently seen on meal dishes. Mainly in China and Japan, where the species is prized as a delicacy and is also widely known to have therapeutic uses there. 4. White-spotted jellyfish. Since these jellies have very little venom, any stings from their stinging cells to humans are completely safe. In actuality, the white-spotted jelly seldom ever uses venom to capture prey. What do jellyfish consume? These are considered to be filter feeders, just like oysters and sponges. Every every day, they can filter more than 50 cubic meters of ocean water. The main drawback to this form of jellyfish is that a swarm or bloom of them can completely eradicate zooplankton from a region. Little greedy things. Resulting in a lack for the fish and crabs that also consume the microscopic marine life. The white-spotted jelly's voracious hunger creates some issues for the local species, from shrimp to corals, in places where it is thought to be an invasive species, such as the Gulf of California, the Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. 5. Black Sea Nettle Jellyfish The Black Sea Nettle's jellyfish is also known as the Lion Mane Jellyfish. Deep Pacific seas around Southern California are where one can find this particular species. The Black Sea Nettle has a bell that may grow up to 3 feet across, lengthy tentacles that can extend up to 20 feet, and stinging tentacles that can extend 25 feet. It goes without saying that it would be rather terrifying to find oneself in the midst of a bloom of these enormous fish while you are in the water, but don't worry too much because they are not that frequent in many ocean waters. Although it is known as a black sea nettle, only mature jellies have black bells, immature and small adult jellies have reddish to maroon bells. Both large and small black sea nettles have reddish pink oral arms and whitish pink tentacles. This is a species of jellyfish that is relatively new to science, and despite their size, which is big, we don't actually know that much about them. According to reports, this is in part because they are hard to raise in captivity and aren't frequently found in the wild. The biggest blooms of black sea nettles have, however, previously been observed in 1989, 1999, and 2010. But aside from these instances, it's a little bit mysterious what the biggest jellies usually get up to. 6. Fried Egg Jellyfish Any theories as to why they call this the fried egg? Another jelly with venom that rarely harms people. In fact, the tentacles of this jelly are occasionally employed by little fish as a form of protection in the open ocean. This is the Cotyloriza tuberculata, also called the Mediterranean jelly or the fried egg jellyfish. In reality, this specific species only survives for about six months, from the summer to the winter, and then perishes when the water and weather begin to cool. When diving, if you see them, look closely to see the little fish that shelter inside the tentacles for protection. Occasionally, a smaller type of crab will also take a chance and ride on the bell. The Atlantic Ocean, Mediterranean Sea, and Aegean Sea are all home to this egg-colored jellyfish that likes to lounge around. Scientists and the general public alike continue to be intrigued by the beautiful and enigmatic jellyfish. 
These animals perform significant roles in marine ecosystems as both predators and prey, despite their reputation as a nuisance to beachgoers and swimmers. Artists, biologists, and filmmakers have all been inspired by their distinctive anatomy and behavior, which is still the focus of current investigation. Thank you for watching, follow for more.